Today we are going to take a look at how assessment data is used in other ways than understanding student progress. Assessment data is commonly used as feedback for teachers to plan future instruction and for evaluating teachers or schools. While the most obvious purposes of assessment are to evaluate student learning, assessment also plays an important role in providing feedback to the teacher about classroom learning. By analyzing the information collected from assessments, teachers are able to evaluate their own effectiveness and potentially change their instructional practices to improve students' learning. As teachers, we should be asking ourselves two relevant questions each time we view student assessment results. These are, did I actually teach the content matter that has been assessed? And, did I teach it thoroughly to the level of the assessment so that the results are an accurate portrayal of student learning? If we do not reflect on these questions, we assume the assessment results are an objective measurement of student performance. However, if the results demonstrate that many students struggled in a specific skill or on a specific item, the assessment should be considered feedback on our teaching. Assessment results may be useful for planning future instruction. Test results may aid in formulating IEPs, individual educational programs, for students who are having difficulties. Assessment data can be particularly useful in the areas of reading and math to better provide students with materials at their particular level. Assessment data can also inform the effectiveness of classroom teaching and activities and may guide what changes need to be made. For parts of instruction that are aligned to specific curricular expectations, assessments can help us identify what has or hasn't been learned or understood by students. Then, instruction can be organized so that students receive the appropriate support. By analyzing assessment data at the beginning of the year, we can identify students' strengths, the areas they need help with, and plan our long-term goals based on these results. Assessment data is often used to evaluate teachers and to evaluate school performance. Data from national standardized tests linked to curriculum is often used to judge teacher quality. In many places, student scores may influence teacher hiring, promotion, or retention decisions. Teachers' pay may be linked to the progress of their students on standardized assessments. Unfortunately, significant research has found that student progress is rarely indicative of the learning that occurred with that single teacher. Student scores could just as easily be influenced by many factors such as socioeconomic status, age of the students, and previous exposure. Schools and school systems are often judged by standardized tests like the Program for International Student Assessment, PISA, or the Trends in International Mathematics and Science Study, TIMIS, which are considered independent of the curriculum. Student results are used to compare countries and school systems, but individual student results are never published. This means that the assessment is not intended to measure learning or to increase learning, but simply to rank and compare countries or schools. Assessment also plays an important role in credentialing. End-of-program assessments are often used to indicate that a student has achieved all of the aims of a certification program. For example, these may be certifying assessments for degree programs, medical teaching, or other licensed professionals. While individual results are calculated, these assessments are generally pass-fail exams. Assessment data may also be used for accreditation of programs or schools. The data of students is used to certify that the program has achieved the correct goals and outcomes for its purpose. When discussing assessment, it's important to note, however, that not all learning can be assessed. Student progress may not always be linear. Students may seem to improve even when their assessments do not demonstrate growth. Similarly, students may learn significantly from failures. Students' thinking may incrementally improve in a way that assessments cannot capture. For example, metacognitive skills, social learning, and other thinking skills are difficult to assess. Unfortunately, when skills that are easy to assess are focused on too heavily, it can become difficult to recognize the progress that the students make in these other very important skills. In short, assessment should measure students' understanding and assist teachers in differentiating learning by reaching all students, no matter the range of their abilities. If you would like to explore more on any of the topics discussed, click on the links provided at the end of this unit. 
As always, remember to observe what is happening in your classes and be a reflective practitioner.